Hey guys, this is Damien Verrett from So Much Light. I'm here with Digital Media Academy today, just running through a quick breakdown of my live setup. When I first started trying to play live electronic music, I had tons and tons of questions. I figured this video might be a cool starting point for someone else who is in my position. Maybe it'll help you skip some of the stages that I had to go through when learning how to do this kind of live musical performance. I'll run you through how I route everything through my interface, through Ableton, and then out of Ableton into a second computer that is running my live projections. Okay, so it all starts right here with my Ableton Live set. So I do basically everything inside of the arrangement view. These red scenes denote clips that are hooked up to this pedal right here. This is a Logity UMI3. When I hit this button right here, it toggles through these MIDI notes, which in turn are linked to these scenes. So let me show you how that works. Let's say I want to start the first song of my set. I just come over here and I hit one. And then that starts playing the first scene in my set. And then at the end of the song, it'll just conclude and leave us with nothing playing. So that's basically how my Ableton Live setup works and how I navigate through the song. It's all done with this pedal right there. It's an amazing, really, really sturdy pedal. I'll pick it up so you can see it. It's really lightweight, but like sturdily built. Fits in right along with all of my guitar effects pedals. So I only run one effect from my guitar through my laptop and then out through my amplifier. I run my guitar into my tuner, into my distortion pedal, into my freeze pedal, into my delay, and then into my reverb. And then that comes into the front of my interface running into Ableton where I just have one effect. It's like a tremolo effect that is in time with the BPM of the Ableton session. I have that effect linked to the third button on my UMI3, and that sounds like this. Cool, so that's how I get my guitar in the mix. So right now I run this Elisa's sample pad for a lot of my um, like trigger samples, like one shot little things. And I used to run this through a USB cable back into my laptop, but that was kind of a headache because I don't want the, you know, if the cable gets bumped, like if one of these gets wiggled, it's always kind of a nightmare in the middle of a set to get it to start communicating with the computer again. So I just run it through a DI box and directly into the soundboard of whatever venue I'm at. And the same goes for my vocals. I just run those straight through the board right now. I used to run them through my laptop through a bunch of crazy effects and it would really like hang things up. I think what I'll end up doing in the future is just buying like a vocal effects processor and running that directly into the board as well just so there's less processing power required from the computer, less to go wrong, I guess. Okay, so the coolest thing about this setup that I have just recently figured out how to do is syncing up my Ableton Live set with live projection. So you'll see I have this column over here that's called dummy. These are just individual MIDI notes that are triggered when these scenes are triggered. So if I hit this button right here, it triggers this scene which houses the clip for my backing track and the clip for my dummy clip that sends a MIDI note via ethernet crossover cable, that gray cable right there, all the way across the floor, onto the desk, and into this second laptop where I'm using Resolume Avenue, which is this awesome projection software that I didn't know existed until a couple months ago. And that triggers my visuals that are synced in time with my music and projecting on the wall right here. So now when I trigger the next scene, like so, boom, it sends a MIDI note here that corresponds to a different visual. And you can see that on the wall. Okay, so that's basically my whole life setup. I hope this video has been helpful. I hope you're inspired to go out and create your own live electronic setup. 
And in the future, I'll probably do some videos that break down these steps in a little more detail. But for now, I hope this was inspiring and that you're going to go out and make some awesome music. Thank you. Mm -hmm.